Welcome to the Burntwood International Golf Experience, where you can have all of your best golf experiences. This is the hole where we have to make sure we don't hit any of the trees, and there's a big water plate. It has a great stick where you can obviously see it. It has kind of a white spot on the top, so you exactly know where it is. It's very complicated because sometimes you can hit it in here, and you'll have to like do that. And if you go too far, you might hit the window, hit the golf thing. And if you do that, you're gonna have like a quadrillion bogey. This is hole number two. And it is very damp and it's complicated because there's a big forest right next to it. And if you hit it in there, it's going to be super hard to get out because, because sometimes, like when you walk in there, bees just fly out at you. So that's complicated. And right here, the dampness kind of stops right here. The whole three, the dog leg, which is our second most best thing. And this is where we start seeing the burnt pile. On this hole, my dad likes to call it a dog leg left. And, and you have to be careful of those things. And if you hit it too far, you're just gonna let all the Legion people get your golf balls instead of letting the Legion people get up the golf ball. And once you get over here, it's complicated because again you have the forest. And if you hit it in there, it's gonna be hard to get it out. So once you get it over here, this one is a par four, the only par four of this course. easy to hit the driver from this but once um you have to hit start hitting the small shots it gets really complicated why don't you go ahead and hit one here okay not bad a little left Tell us a little bit about this shot. What makes it so difficult? Well, if you hit it in the burnt pile, that's really bad. If you hit it left, you're going to be stuck in that tree. And there's a bunch of big puddles over there, which qualifies water. And then there's a forest over there. And straight in the middle is where you want to go. You can see that, that stick pile right there in the middle. That's what we're aiming for. So this is a good 75 yard shot. All right, let's see what you got. Look at that. Landed in the water, bounced through, mm -hmm. leaving you about 12 yards. Chance at a birdie on the signature hole. How would that be? That would be really good. Hey, why don't you tell the viewers at home about your dad's tee shot on this hole during the last round? He got a hole in one, which was very complicated to do. You're using the word complicated a lot today. Golf is supposed to be simple. All right, hold up. Let me get a let me get a good view here. What if I hit you? We'll move. Uh, I'll move way back. Nice shot. So this is number six? Yep. Number All right, six. tell us about number six. Number six 
you have to go straight there. This one is not very complicated. You gotta go right over that little tree though. Yeah. One time I hid it in that tree. No, it makes it tough. I got a bogey. This and it's also hard to putt on this one because there's a hill right over it. Now for the next hole, um, it's right next to tractors and trailers and stuff. And it's another. It's one of the easiest ones. Um, because there's nothing really you have to worry about besides that forest and that tree and it's pretty good grass <laughs> and I'd say that's about good. Kind of like on the border. Yeah, we'll give it to you. Yeah. All right, that's hole number seven. And then tell us about the finishing hole. The finishing hole is actually kind of complicated because there's a, it's like basically a maze of trees and it's a downhill shot. Nice, nice shot. If you play out here a long time, your hands get super cold. Soon, this is this was our preview. Soon, we'll be able to have all of them with holes and like like poles and stuff, and like we'll know when it's in and not. That's the Burntwood International preview.